I'm going to lead with something very interesting and that we have seen at the F7C MK2 comparing it to the F8C that is going to surprise you. And that is plain and simple off the top. The F7C is MK2 is a terrible Atmo performer currently in the game. There's already issue council files about this. I'm sure CIG will review it, but right now it is literally at least a third slower than the F8C um, in Atmo. And some places it's even slower than that. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to my long time subscribers. Uh, first of all, the F7C MK2 is not an Atmo performer. It is a beautiful, beautiful ship. You can see that I have this one heavily upgraded and it's full of grade A and grade B components that are competitive and military. Um, the F8C is stock. Repeat, the F8C executive edition there is stock. Notice the iron scale paint on the F7C MK2 is practically the same as the F8C executive edition, by the way. The, of course, the interior isn't upgraded like the F8Cs, but the exterior awfully looks like the F8C executive edition. So nice little pickup if uh, the concierge paint for the F7C MK2, if, if you don't already have an F8C executive. And um, that's uh, it's, it's six bucks. Um, if you don't buy it with the Warbond pack. So uh, that's a nice little pickup, especially when you consider how much you have to go through to get the F8C Executive. Um, these ships are uniquely different. The F8C has a lot more weaponry, uh, but the uh, F8C is a bulkier ship with a higher IREM cross-section. But back to what I said, racing. We decided to have a drag race between the F8C stock and the F7A MK2 upgraded. And the con the contest was no contest. The F8C was infinitely faster. And uh, the, it was it was wild, wild how, how different they were. Where this thing was getting up into 300s and the other one was like locked at 214 SEM. It was just wild, the difference. Now we said, okay, well, what if the one. F7A Go. MK2 is faster in a track around corners. Yep, I was too. I ran out of booster before I got to the tower. Note Toast here says that she ran out of booster before she even got halfway around the track. And this thing still has booster for days when yeah, I was doing see, it. Yeah, that thing is way better. I even rearrange. I have a better track time by 10 seconds and I rearranged about 10 seconds and I rearranged oh, fine. my angles trying to get back. So I went the same side of the, 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 uh, 43.45. <laughs> it's like a whole 10 seconds. Now, once again, we tested it and we also tested it with different pilots. So we, we, we switch, we switch ships and the results over and over and over again were the same. The F7C MK2 is about a third slower in Atmo than the F8C. And that's about, it's approximate. I'm not, tr I, I, I don't want to see in the comment, please do not write in the comments. Well, it's actually 9.8 seconds or something. We were using stopwatches, but we weren't perfect. Obviously there's not a start and finish line. We're just trying to look eyeball wise like when it reaches the cockpit of, of the ship that it's racing but the track just in case you want to test it yourself is the u-shape so we flew from that from the circle tower here which is right near new babbage interstellar spaceport to those two towers went around them like a 180 track lap but up in space is a different story Three, both ships are pretty even two one go i left this in because i thought it was funny Chris, uh, microtech security scanned me as go. soon as i started but this lap is clean. And I want to stress that throughout these, there was a lot of blacking out, redding out, etc. When you're trying to do it. You're trying to make sure you reach the end yeah, of the track. Yeah, like big giant yellowy edged thing. Or the big giant yellowy edge thing, as Toast called it. And basically yeah, you spend the, like, most of it blacked out. Three triangle thingy on the top of the station. But when you're in space, the F7C MK2 is about the same speed as the F8C, at least in short range. Like 3282. This. So here's the F8C's run. Now, I did have some audio issues on some of these recordings. That's kind of what you're hearing back and forth is um, some of the audio recordings are not the greatest. But in general, 
our best laps on both craft once we started getting comfortable with the track and comfortable with the fact you basically cannot see the entire time were about 30 seconds give or take a second or two this is not a racing review this is a combat pair of combat vessels that are supposed to be superiority fighters um, and what they can do. I blacked out in both directions. And in space, this brings me to my point that it really the limitations, the pilot will start blacking out and reading out. If you can't see what you're shooting at or chasing, you really just kind of yeah, so aim I guess and they're hope pretty, for the best. They might be pretty evenly matched out in space, but not on the, but not in Atmo. Exactly. Two, one, go. Now, this is the laps that I left in that are, I'll call them... Um, not great for your health runs. <laughs> so I attempted to go as fast as I possibly can. And it was like 30 seconds around that these are where you're literally, as you're blacking out, you're aiming for a tiny little pinhole of light um, and uh, hoping you don't hit anything on the way. And that's kind of the, the way to fly these things. 30, when... 30 seconds. And... That's kind of the game when you're talking about these. Like on the dot. Oh yeah, I I expect this whole run is basically just a blackout. And in general, these ships are excellent combat vessels, but if they can't reach the target to attack it, it brings up interesting questions. So in space, both of these vessels will get to their fight. The FAC brings more weaponry and more fuel and more armor and more shields but both of them will get to the fight and bring I'm a lot of weaponry right now i can't see anything Ooh. I, I left this one in because she nearly hit the station oh i almost hit that station Ooh, yep. that was close so with all that said is it worth getting well if you're the kind of player who does this and really wants to do this and that's really what it's all about. It's got combat chops. It's a decent ship. And most particularly, it can fit in many more ships than the F-8C can. The F-8C is really meant to be a standalone heavy fighter. It has a larger fuel tank. It's meant to walk, rock around on its own and in small groups, etc. Whereas this is a carrier-based fighter. It always has been. And if you want to do your Battlestar Galactica combat landings, this is the ship you want to do it in. Additionally, if you are probably not going to get an F-8C executive, this is pretty dang close. The trim on this ship is beautiful. And it reminds me heavily, the iron scale paint, uh, that's the concierge paint for this, reminds me heavily, heavily of the F-8C executive edition, which is pictured here as i've already noted and overall i think they're very interesting ships and as i've mentioned there is highly likely that the issue council will be reviewed and it's it may have some atmo tuning but overall i think that the f7c mk2 is meant to be on a carrier out in space and go duke it out in space and maybe it's intentional that it has this design you can see the f8c has like these little attempts to do like winglets and stuff when it lands in landing configuration but the f7c just is way way less chunky and that's even with the oversized bulky turret that the civilian size has the specialty hornet turret for the civilian side the military one is way slimmer probably because it needs to fit on a carrier and uh will we'll, we'll remain to be seen testing is still ongoing um if I haven't mentioned it already, I did have a... This is stock. The F-8C is stock. And the F-7C MK2 has tons of upgrades, like grade A, grade a and B uh, competitive and military gear across the board. I think the only thing... I think it was grade A industrial for its shield boosters or something like that. That's about it. Um, overall... Right now, this minute, if you perform an Atmo in the moons and planets of Stanton, stick with the F-8C. 
But if you want to just have fun and you want a space-based superiority fighter, the F7C MK2 is very interesting. And even though it'll be slower when it's an F7A MK2, the token is worth doing, in my opinion, because it'll make this ship even more valuable because it really needs to be extremely, extremely combat focused because it's not a fast fighter. It's not an interceptor. It's nowhere near an interceptor in capabilities of speed. And in Atmo, especially right now anyway, it is not good. As a reminder, check the pin comments. I will update if they update the speeds and maneuverability of this thing in Atmo. I will keep reviewing it myself, even if there isn't a mention, um, because I have the F7C MK2 now, and I can go pretty in-depth with it. But remember, you have to make a decision based on what's in the game already and what is, um, you know, coming versus like we promised to be coming versus something that may or may not get, quote, fixed, end quote, in the future. But uh, both are beautiful ships. I'm going to leave you with these these wonderful uh, clips of them. Reminder to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to my long term subscribers. Uh, I got to tell you, this year is already shaping up to be an amazing year. And um, I just I just want to get more feature based content into PTU, uh, tech preview, experimental PTU, whatever they want to call it that isn't um, Evo. Because I think the larger community, we need to start seeing waves in the larger community, especially for 3.23 already, and start playing with the features. As of recording this part anyway, towards the, my, my capstone parts in the sun on Sunday, um, we've we're starting to see that there is a 3.23 Evo uh, patch coming out, but that's only a you know what a few thousand people or whatever um, that will be able to test that, and only a portion of them will be available for the test. Uh, so it would be really wonderful if we could start seeing the higher the, the uh, waves to start getting these things to tear at, even if they're in a interesting state that is we have to work around we, we're okay with bugs this community is okay with bugs we don't mind it especially if we're more on the test servers all right that's gonna do it for me fly safe